Right. Ah, he tripped. Awesome. Sup, folks? DT Fox here, and I'm here with Mr. Daniel. Say hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> and we are doing a little bit of recording, first time ever, co-commentary of Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the first game, because it's apparently the game that we both actually managed to own, and the lag doesn't really lag too much. So yeah, we're gonna do a little gameplay with Daniel here. Say hi again. No. Okay then. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this thing works out. Hopefully it doesn't lag up, and hopefully it doesn't. Uh, hopefully this all works in the end. I just spent the past who knows how long just trying to set this up. And it's set up now, and stuff. So let's go. Oh, oh god, it's Captain Falcon! Show me your moves! Kia! Oh no. <laughs> this is go. awkward. It's not awkward at all. This is a pink Captain Falcon. Yeah, he's Captain Fabulous. <laughs> the F is for f amazing. What? No, oh, I was saying it's like amazing, except with an F, because it's fun, amazing. Like amazing? No. Yeah, no, like fun. Wait, what I, the hell? Yeah, I lost my jump. For a second, I thought it accidentally like disconnected and uh, sort of created an alternate universe between both of our games. Oh no! Even though so that does kind of happen, though. Where on your game you didn't fall down, but uh, on my game you did. Yeah. But that's kind of stupid when that happens in fighting games. Yeah, I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure Nintendo fixed the kinks. Hopefully, but then again, uh, Mario Kart's still kind of getting hacked. Ah, uh, you know what I hate about people uh, that claim that they hacked uh, Tetris DS? They didn't. They're just fucking idiots who use what was it called? Um, a cheat module. Yeah, like Game Shark or something. Uh, I actually owned the Action Replay DS, or whatever it was called, and there was a cheat code on there, which was called uh, Only L uh, only I Blocks, okay, the long ones. Yes, yeah, yeah, that really isn't much of a hack, just, yeah, cheat, like you said. Yeah, but it's still fucking annoying when you're fight, uh, uh, playing against people, and then someone comes on and just bashes you with all his uh, line blocks, and you fall down to your death. <laughs> yeah, usually I thought that, um, usually I thought that most, uh, cheats, oh wow, really, 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 got it, really, alright, but usually I thought that most, um, hacks and oh, stuff. Oh god, it's the combo cannon. Yeah. On the halberd. But, um, usually I thought that, uh, most of the cheats and hacks and stuff could be, weren't allowed to be used online. Well, they can't, they, they aren't allowed, but you can still do it because there's no way of checking if that happens. Yeah. But actually, actually, I could write like a routine to make sure that that won't happen. And how would you do that? Uh, just simply check if the last five blocks were all line blocks, because the possibility of that happening is, is very slim. Yeah, very very slim. So if someone has like ten of them or something, they instantly get kicked. Yeah. And maybe even uh, if it's possible, overwrite the. Um, Multiplayer to forbid playing multiplayer on that card. But, um, what is it though? It's hard to, like, kick people on games like those, though. The only real way to get away from that is to leave yourself, but then you lose points for it. Right? Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know if there's a point system on DS, uh, Tetris DS. Uh, I wouldn't really know either. I mean, I used to own the game, and then I lost it, and apparently it's one of the hardest games to ever find on the DS, so I'm never gonna have it ever again. That's what. That's the same I uh, thought about Pikmin too. Yeah, like Pikmin two runs for a lot on Amazon. Yeah, good thing they re-released it for the week. So well, at least so in your country. Oh, oh wait, Pikmin uh, one, not Pikmin two. Uh, I was talking about Pikmin two. Oh yeah, yeah. They didn't release. They didn't re-release Pikmin two for the Wii U control. I mean, for the Wii controls. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, you fell. I'm the best around, and nothing's gonna keep me. I down. kept, I kept forgetting about the thing where it's like, yeah, you have to do that, and uh, actually, it's the light. Man, I totally just scared you off the stage because I'm so MLG, yo. I'm the best around. MLG. Yeah. MLG. <laughs> actually, I was making a reference to something else that you probably never heard of. Probably, maybe. You don't <laughs> need that. You don't need that. Thank you. You can't even see me because of all this smoke. I'm like a ninja. 
out of nowhere, I just strike. <laughs> and I'm a giant ninja. <laughs> and you kick the hammer out of the game. Yeah, I don't need any hammer. It's not hammer time. Okay. You don't need that either. <laughs> Well, I don't need it either. Wait, don't touch that. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> don't make it away from you. <laughs> Stay back. I know Kung Fu. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to get hit by that box. I, oh, for a second, I thought that ice was a smart bomb. <laughs> But yeah, they re-release Pikmin 2 here. What are we? And I'm glad for that because it, it was so freaking, it's so good actually being able to play that again. We. <laughs> yeah, I wish I did have a chance, but I kind of like skipped out on the whole Pikmin series, save for the first one. And never even beat that one. But they said they were going to be getting Pikmin 3 for the Wii U, and they're going to actually introduce that at uh, E3 this year. Oh, hopefully. But then again, nothing's clean. Yeah. No, I mean, like, they officially, officially... Well, for the most part, I think they officially said. So, yeah, hopefully. No. But the thing... Uh, what was the other thing you were talking about, about being rich? Oh, yeah, Petrus. About the point system. I remember playing uh, Puyo Puyo Fever or something. Uh, I actually decided to... Well, guess what? I actually decided to get a multi-card thing. And just test it out to, like, uh, just see and stuff. No, actually. God dang it. <laughs> that was genius, but essentially I tried it with the card and I actually found it very good. And considering the on online play still works, even with... <coughs> um, this is kind of interesting. But I found out that there's a point system in there. Both characters uh, lose points if they leave, if they start a match, and the one that wins gets them back or something. I think it was something along those lines. Yeah. And uh, if you actually quit during the game, you will actually lose the points, and maybe even more points because of uh, quitting. Yeah, which would, you know, which would only give the advantage to like the hacker unless you stuck it through to the end. Uh, but I don't know if there are cheat codes for Puyo Puyo games. And... yeah. Okay, I'm kind of stupid with this character. <laughs> oh yeah, but wait, you're talking about the Puyo... I think over here in the US it's called Puyo Pop Fever, but um, was it for the GameCube or the DS? Uh, DS. Oh yeah. That was a fun game. Especially yeah, like I have you... to. The problem is that they actually released the Puyo Puyo Fever too. I think I remember hearing about that, but I don't think... Was that also for the DS? It was also for the DS, it was also for the GameCube. Uh. But the problem is they now have a like release thing for DS, PSP, and uh, Wii. I think it was actually like 50th anniversary and Puyo Puyo 7. Yeah. I remember hearing about 7, even though I never really saw that either. Well, the thing is, it's kind of new star, new character, and the character that is appearing to called Apple. Apple? Yeah. What's his best friend's name, Orange? <laughs> uh, Earthbound reference. Actually, that was kind of a... I was just taking a shot at the dark. Actually, really? there is an Orange kid and an Apple kid in uh, Earthbound. I think it was Tucson, but I'm not really remembering it. Oh, wait, why did I choose this character? Because you think you'd like show me up with my own favorite character? How dare you! Okay, I'm kind of being stiff over the controls now. I should switch to, I should, should choose a character that I know how to control. Yeah. If you want to, I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> You're winning. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to complain about that. Why don't you come a little closer? Yeah. <laughs> that was the most genius thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just walking through me while I charge an attack. Yeah, Ike doesn't fear nothing. He fights for his friends, didn't you know? 
Oh wait, he was the English guy. I thought. Oh wait, yeah, Marth was the uh, keeping easy dude. Yeah. Mina, teach her the Oh yeah, it's still weird that like he's pretty much the only character that doesn't really speak any English in this game. Not complaining about, or not making it sound like that, but yeah, he's the only character. Funny. The funny thing is, uh, this character that's coming up, I'm not gonna tell you about him yet. It's Jigglypuff. Hello. It's Toon Link. I'm not gonna say anything anymore. Jackal! It's a jackal! <laughs> that would be funny. I'm, I'm trying to find the stage I can play on. Oh yeah. yeah, that one. If it was close, it's probably Lucario. Ah, oh, why Caneria? <laughs> Yours got priority for some odd reason. Oh wait, no. DDD, that's not a Pokemon. Whatever, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> what? Oh, well, I I didn't mean to like go off that far. <laughs> yeah. Mm, oh no. But yeah, there's a funny thing about uh, this character. In Germany, in the I don't know when, 1990 maybe. <laughs> I wanted to pick that up, <laughs> but in the 1990s, this character was actually given a name, in a different name, in yeah. I think the comic it was. I don't know if it was in the games, but it were actually comics. I have you now. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. No, but yeah, what about the DDD? Oh, okay. Just... okay. I'll be taking that, thank you very much. <laughs> Waba Fett, I choose you! Tackle attack! Tackle attack! Good job, Waba Fett. Yeah, but the character actually, actually had a different name back then, before he officially became DDD over here. And what was and, the name? Uh, shall I translate it so you don't have a confusion? Uh, tell me the original one first. Uh, I'm gonna write it down so you can pronounce it in bad English. Wait, wait hey, how dare you? I pronounce things perfectly. And, and well, broken German, more or less, like in in German or Jang Janglish. Uh, the Nick Gerchen. Wait, no, fuck. I forgot the thing. Hey, hey, this is a family recording. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. It's fine if you curse. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're all adults <laughs> here. I forgot one word. The Koenig Nikuchin? Exactly. <laughs> so it's king, but what's the... It's king, right? Cat nap, uh, lie down, nap, snooze. Oh, yeah, because... Well, snooze. Because he pulls off that little snoozing pose, right? Yeah. That explains everything. Oh, wait, no, because I didn't choose in time, it uh, just shows a different stage. That's fine, as long as it's not uh, New Pork City or anything. Oh, no, that's fine, then. This stage is totally fine. Totally. You'll never get off those platforms. Crap, you got off the platform. <laughs> Too bad. Ah, uh, shooty. Oh no, escape. What is this? Oh yeah, First. you just make sure you don't get stomped. You know, and you, you get a random item. Oh no! Hey look, I'm invincible. Can't oh, this is stupid. They just gave me a mushroom. Yeah, it's it varies, unfortunately. And, and I have a friend who like really I have a friend who like loves playing the stage so much, and like she doesn't really get mad at me, but she does like kind of say something whenever I don't play by the rules. Jump. Yeah, you have to jump before. Really? Come on! I know you wanted to. <laughs> I made us both. You didn't have to take it with you. Seriously, duh. But yeah, I actually have a friend who like uh, kind of says something when I don't really play by the rules. Especially like one of the parts that come up when it says, like, don't do anything. And, like, I say, screw that, and I try to take a kill. 